Hello and welcome to today's session on lenses. Today we will talk about lenses, their types and basic definition. So what are lenses? They are used everywhere in the optical instruments such as camera to form an image. Another example could be used in a telescope to form an image. Also we can use it as a magnifying glass to form an image of an object. So lens is nothing but a device frequently used to obtain an image in an optical instruments. Now lenses are generally bound by two smooth surfaces. So they are bound by two smooth surfaces as shown here. We have surface number one which is this side and surface number two this side. Another example surface number one this side and a plane surface this side. So usually they are bound by two smooth surfaces okay now by bonding two smooth surfaces we can formulate different kind of lenses so these are the convex surface and convex surface so this is called double convex lens or bioconvex lens this is a convex surface and this is a plane surface so it's called plano convex lens now this is a convex surface and this is a concave surface so called convex meniscus lens and here we have concave and concaves, double concave, so on and so forth. But fundamentally the lenses are of two types. One is called converging lens and other is called diverging lens. The way we define is that a ray of light or a parallel ray of light is coming on the lens get converged to a point. So this is called converging lens. And here the ray of light coming parallel basically divert away from each other and basically is called diverging lens. These are also called collecting lens. As they collect the ray of light to a particular point. Now one way of thinking about lens is that we can think of it as a sequence of prism. So basically for a converging lens here is a prism. Right the first portion. The ray of light is coming like this and is getting deflected inward. Now we can have another prism of different angle. And basically a ray of light coming like this will get further deflected so and so forth. So in case of converging lens we can think of it as a prism. In case of diverging lens it is reverse prism. Right. Now move ahead. Another way of thinking about lens is how we make the lenses. So suppose we have a glass sphere here. I say this one will be cut out this portion from the sphere then basically we have a plano convex lens. Right? Now if we have two glass spheres of different radius and we take out the middle portion of it we have a bioconvex lens here. Similarly, we can take out this portion and we have another kind of a lens. Now, if we have two spheres here and we take the outer side of it and make a lens, basically we have a concave lens like this. Okay, this is a concave lens. Here, we take one side of a concave, another side is plane, so we have plano concave lens, so on and so forth. So, lenses are basically combination of spheres we can use to make different kinds of lenses. Now, Good way of defining concave and convex is very simple. For all the con concave lanes, basically you will find that. So okay, so start with the convex. So this is our convex lens, right? You will find that they are thicker in the middle. Okay. So thicker in the middle. On 
convex. They are thicker outside and thinner in the middle. It's concave. This is a very good way of remembering it because you will not get confused. So if going back to our previous examples here, you can simply say that these are thicker in the middle, so these are convex lenses. These are thicker outside, so they are convex uh, concave lenses. Now, when a ray of light basically passes through a lens, there is one point called O, we call it optical center. O is defined as optical center. When a ray of light passes through optical center, because this is like a glass surface here, hardly gets deviated but only gets shifted by a little amount. If we assume that this lens is very thin, basically the ray of light through optical center will pass without any deviation. So it will come straight and pass like this. Okay. So a ray of light passing through an optical center passes without any deviation. Moving on, uh, before we go, basically there is other way of representing the lenses uh, with these arrows because we do not have bandwidth to draw the lenses all the time. So convex lenses are shown like this and concave the other way around. Okay, so now we move on to another definition. Now any ray of light which is passing through the optical center and which is parallel, sorry, perpendicular to this one. So C1, C2 here is called principal axis. Okay, and here also in this case, C1, C2 is called principal axis. Now, any other ray of light which is passing through the optical center but not in this direction, they are called secondary axis. We will use these concepts to basically do the ray diagram in the next video. Okay, so C1, C2 is principal and all other axes, any of them, sorry, just passing through the center are secondary and there could be many secondary axes. Okay. Now, there is a by experiment, we can observe that the ray of parallel light comes on a convex. You remember this, we can show the con convex lens like this. So, a ray of light coming parallel to it actually focuses on a point F, right? And this point F is called focal point. Okay. And this distance from O is called focal distance, focal length. Okay. From the other direction, this is the focal point, this is the focal length. In case of diverging lens, basically we extend this ray where all this ray are beating. This is the focal length which is negative and this is also called focal point. So any ray which is parallel to the principal axis will come and basically converge at a particular point and that point is called focal point. So rays parallel to the principal axis converges to a point called focal point. Okay. Now what happens if we have a rays which are not parallel to the principal axis but secondary axis? Remember the definition of principal axis and secondary axis. So this is principal axis, these are secondary axis. So what will happen? The rays 
actually comes parallel to the principal axis so, sorry secondary axis so here is an example so now the rays are coming parallel to the secondary axis y we can see that so this is our secondary axis okay this ray is passing through the focal <coughs> through o right the optical center and all other rays are parallel to it now with experiment we can see that all this ray eventually meet at a point b which lies on the same line as f okay so all these rays which are coming uh, parallel to the secondary axis will also get focused at a point b and this plane which will form will be called focal plane right now this distance will be also equal to the focal length same for the diverging lens all the rays coming parallel to the secondary axis will get to be focusing on a same focal length on a plane forming on the same focal length right it is called focal plane we'll be using these concepts uh, when we'll be doing the ray diagram for uh, for image formation in the lenses